mean, Angola has affected countrywide, mm. 18 provinces in different ways mines have been laid. The difference is that there is this battle that's been talked about today, the Battle of Quito Conaval, and it, the, the use of mines in the tactics of it sort of like was, was huge. You had, uh, as we learned today, the Angolans withdrawing back to Quito Conaval and there's sort of like a save, saving face thing, sort of the Cubans stepping in and saying, no, we must hold the line at Quito Conaval. And to do that, the employment of mines as a sort of blocking tactic, that's it. And that's why there's so many. They were just trucking mines down, truckloads and truckloads and truckloads to put out in front to protect themselves from the oncoming South Africans. Twelve long years with locals clearing the minefields around them has removed 35,000 35, mines from, you know, close into the town. There's a town of 40,000 people, so a mine per person almost, and certainly that figure will double by the time we're done. So in many ways a success. Um, we've managed to sort of clear the immediate threat close to the town. But the next thing is what about the future? What about the outer rings? How, how is Angola going to develop? What's it going to do? Is it going to attract tourism, et cetera? You, you, can't, you can't go to a national game park and drive 20 kilometers down the road out of the designated tourist town and go through an anti-tank minefield. It's just not acceptable. There has to, there has to be a solution. This is a, a man-made problem, a military-made problem. And I was slightly questioning why, I mean, why the problem gets left and local people get left to clear their own town and take all the risks. You know, a lot of money to deal with this kind of problem comes from international aid budgets. Because once you remove the mines, then there is development. But I also questioned, yeah, you know, it's a man-made problem, military-made problem. You know, there's some big defense budgets out there. Surely this should be in the plan. If you're going to go to war, how are you going to deal with the consequences?